Earthlings, like and subscribe, or I will pop you in the face with my eyeball attack. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> So guys, they had pigs in space in the Muppet Show. Now Moose has Gujitsus in space. Woo! And we got a total of five out of seven you can collect. The other two are gonna come later. First of all, the five includes the ultra rare, the crustacoid, which is something I thought you'd get, you know, when you got a dry, crusty burger. And let's go over them one by one. So first of all, we got Thrash. Ooh. No, it's Astral, Astral Thrash. Thrash. It sounds so much cooler, you know. You can see it's Heroes of Gujitsu All New Galaxy Attack, and it's Astro Thrash, the hero pack, and he's super squishy. It stretches up to three times its size. Then on the back, it's new. He's got a visor flip action for Astro Thrash. You can flip his visor up and down, which is about as helpful as Disney's Buzz Lightyear and his little visor flip up and down. <laughs> you can flip him up, pretend, and he's like, ah, I can't breathe. Scrunch, stretch, and squish. And look, now they're into comics. Our heroes search the galaxy for the origins of the goo. Meanwhile, new galactic goons stand in their way. Pow! Who will rule the galaxy? So there's a total of seven you can collect. Astro Thrash, Solar Blast, Blazagon, Cosmic Pantarol, and Star Shadow, Merculock, Saturn Knot, and then Ultra Rare, the Crustacoid. It says you got seven action figs with unique goo fillings available across Series 5. Pa there means he's a goo guy. No, good guy. And warning, do not heat or microwave, do not bite or pierce, do not leave in direct sunlight, do not leave in vehicle on a hot day, do not wrap or tie product around anyone's head, neck, arm, or leg, keep away from pets. You want a super goo? Leave it in the car on a hot day. It'll just be all over the place. It may melt. Plus, it gives that plasticky smell. It's not healthy. Don't smell it. Filter contains color which may stain some fabric or surfaces. Wipe affected area with a warm, damp sponge with caution regarding the color fastness of the material. So, you know, over time, you're going to be squeezing those things and they'll just boist. There's lots of boisting. Maximum stretch up to three times its length. Excessive stretching may damage the toy and then it tells you the contents you got one gujitsu hero filling contents gel beads Ooh. now guys before we start tearing into all these the first thing i want you to know is who are the goo guys and who are the evil guys in this gujitsu galactic attack series which is series five first of all is that anybody on the back who has one of these a skull they're evil Stay away from them. Don't buy them. Even the ultra rares, which is kind of fascinating. Ooh, a dad moment. We're going to go back to skill. First Gujitsu, series one. The ultra rare was Frostbite. And then series two, Hi Hydra. And it was Hydra. And then series three is Braxor, the Brachiosaurus. And then we got series four, Smashadon. And then finally series five, the Crustacoid. Now, out of all these, I don't recall any of these guys being evil. I mean, this one comes right out and shows you it. That little skull in the back, he's evil. I know with Frostbite, he has the Paw Patrol paw. He's a good guy. And then the dragon it doesn't show anywhere on here that he's a goo guy the brachiosaur they didn't show where they were good guys it seems like half the time although when you guys tagged in the comments that hey if he's got a yellow necklace he's a goo guy as near as i can tell these are all goo guys including smashadon so if it's something different let me know so in other words this may be the ultra of all ultra rares because he's totally evil so i don't know you guys want to collect any evil dudes if like star wars you're into darth vader he's evil and yet he's got a lot of fans now the reason why i bring these two guys in from series three which is shreds and wraps is because as you recall there's a total of seven right there including the ultra braxor is that moose didn't release all seven at one time the two that they held back for a couple of months it's these two guys velociraptor and spinosaurus and i suspect they're doing the same thing for our star shadow and cosmic pentaro i bet these guys won't come out until about october mm, if they come out earlier please put in the comments let me know i want to hurry and go get them and finish my collection now if you remember on astro thrash that on the back they have that first box in the car cartoon strip that shows our heroes search the galaxy for the origins of the goo. Now we can see Astro Thrash and Solar Blast Blazagon, and you can also see Cosmic Pentaro, but you see that little tiny green, well, maybe bluish green figure that's just coming in the back who doesn't really have any feet. It looks like Star Shadow. It says our hero search the galaxy and he's still part of them. I bet they're all goo guys. So in other words, guys, these are the three evil dudes out of the seven. And we only have two that are good here. But the other two, Goo Guys, Cosmic Pantaro, and Star Shadow, I don't know when they're going to come out. But again, if they're anything like Series 3, it's going to be a couple of months. And then one other thing you guys need to know is that for the heroes, they have one type of comic strip. These two are good guys. You see how they're both the same comic strips? And these are all three evil dudes, and they all have the same comic strip, right? So guys, if you look at the Good Guys comic strip, that's the beginning of the comic strip, as near as I can tell. 
detail in putting it in sequential order because it says that our hero searched the galaxy for the origins of the goo. Now they're searching, but then in the evil dudes, by that time when they've done a lot of searching, they have trespassed deep within alien space. If you want to complete the comic strip, you got to get at least one goo guy and one evil guy or just watch Adventure Fun. Hey, that's what we do. Let's get our Swiss Army knife and let's see if we can cut it and see if we can keep the box intact here. And maybe just cut around the plastic here. So part of the plastic is okay. And then the other part of the plastic is so glued it's pulling up the picture. <laughs> it has, it looks like a little tag here with a little arrow. Like you take that and you pull it, but I start pulling it and I'm like, <laughs> it's tearing off the box. Oh, interesting. Huh. Well, it looks like it's separating. See that? That's still glued to the box. It still tears out the uh, pretty picture, but uh, that's not too bad. Hey, super goo. Take a look at her astral thrash. Uh, and we better raise the visor. Can we raise it? That's cool. And it does it go all the way back. Three quarters of the way back, it looks like. Oh, that's pretty fun. Looky right there, you see a paw? He's a good goo. Let's take a look at the back. And he's got some little buttons back there. Not sure I want to expose that to the enemy when I'm in a fight. And you just get behind me, start pushing buttons and <laughs> Now, these duds, in the past gujitsus, you were able to change them, swap them. Let's see what it looks like with, well, it makes it easier with his duds off because then we can really squish them and see what's inside of them. See his goo beads and there's his paw. So let's go ahead and give him a squishy. Ready, set. Oh, that's pretty cool. This reminds me of caviar loving fishing. It totally looks like blue green. It may be blue. <laughs> camera mom makes it sound fancier. It's turquoise. I'm like, keep it simple, camera mom. Blue green. Just some Orbeez. Well, it should be. I mean, he's an Orbit. Oh, his visor comes off. He's no longer a super visor. Gel beads. That's what it is. Okay, next, we've got our Solar Blast Blazagon. I mean, doesn't it sound cooler? I mean, we've had Blazagon since series one, but Solar Blast, I mean, that's packing a punch. The Solar Blast Blazagon, some super gooey. And then on the back, oh, he also has a visor flip. I wonder if it's all the goo guys that have visors. And we'll have to see when Cosmic Pentaro and Star Shadow comes out, but Star Shadow doesn't sound like he needs one to breathe out in space. And then you got the comic strip and there's his paw, it means he's a goo guy. So let's go ahead and open him up and then let's do what it, well, this little arrow thing and try to pull this off. There we go. See, look at that. That's just nasty. Mm. Our Soul Blast Blazagon, he's got his visor flip. Nice. Oh, it goes all the way back, 180, totally. He's like our total Californian man. He's into the sun, he's into the solar blast, and you can actually pull it off, right? And then you can see on the back. So it looks like you can change his duds too, you know, they'll come off. Should we try it? He can swap with Pantaro. I don't know, you think blue would go well with red? Of course it will. And you'll notice that the paw here was visible or viewable in the window there. That's super cool, so he's a good guy. And then on the back of his head is gel plastic film. So we got glitter dots. And so let's go ahead and give him a squish. Oh. <laughs> totally out the rump here. Oh yeah, but that's super cool. Look at that. Oh, there it comes. You see all that? I thought he just did a little poopsie. <laughs> Those glitter dots. There you go. See the glitter dots? So you see the cool swirls, the solar blast going on inside of them. Then when I flick it, it all just settles down. So I have to shake it to bring them all down. I mean, that is Solar Blast, guys. That is super cool. They nailed the name on this one here with the goo. My Blazagon Solar Blast has got the coolest goo so far. So there you go, guys. You can even play dress-up duals. I prefer them in the original outfits, but hey, now you know. What about their visors? And you can tell the visors are a little bit different. One has wings on it. That's Solar Blazagon Solar Blast. Oh, I was gonna like break it trying to get it on his head. Does it even move? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't flip the visors around, guys. It's just a custom fit, really. <laughs> it just looks so weird. His legs should be through the hole. <laughs> He's pulling his legs out. I just didn't play with dolls when I was a kid. No, we're men. Action figures. Should we do our Capring test? See how far he blasts into space? Uh, honorable mention. Seven to eight feet. Now we'll do Blazagon Solar Blast. 
not bad. Mm, foot and a half more than our uh, thrash. Okay, next guys, let's do our sadder snot, sadder knot. Again, sadder knot. He's super stretchy. And on the back, who knew? Two color goo. It says our heroes have trespassed deep within alien space. Meanwhile, pesky intruder, I've got my eye on you. Ooh, that's pretty creepy, that eyeball popping out. The power will be mine, go away. You can see down below, he's evil, he's got the skull. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the tab again to see if it works one of these times. See if we turn it off really fast, then hopefully it doesn't damage the box. Let's see, three, two, one. Oh boy. And look at that, he looks like Star Shadow. You know, he's got more of a lobster tail looks like. And he's got his, he's a punk. He goes to those punk parties, those rave he's always raving about. Oh, he feels really cool too. Gotta be corn syrupy. In fact, that's his contents, his gel. I don't know, is he some sort of spider? He's got a total of four eyes and a lot of choppers. He's an outer space vampire. And I don't see any evil insig, wait a minute. There is an evil insignia. Let me flip it over the back and you guys tell me if you can see it more clearly there. You see the two eyes and the nose of the skull? That's the evil one. Just the abdomen here looks like some sort of spider, you know, maybe he shoots out webs here. You know, spider has eight legs, right? He's only got four, he's half of a spider. And he's got his little antennas here, super cool. Well, his duds, we can pull those off. And yeah, I don't know, it looks like you can put him on the back of Thrash, but if you have the skull on the back of Thrash, he may turn evil. But then since he's good, it's probably just chaotic neutral. He's chaotic because he doesn't know who he is. <laughs> Look at that, can you see the two goos? So you got clear up here and it's kind of swirling a little bit and you got the darker goo down below. Look at that. And uh, let's see if we can manipulate and get this goo to go up. Work that goo. It's such a goo feeling. Just mix up the goo. I mean, once it's mixed, guys, it's over. You could sell it on eBay saying, yeah, I got sad or not, used and also mixed. Let's see if we mixed them at all. Oh yeah, you see that? Hey, oh, look at that, you can see it better mixing up to the top of his neck. Oh, it's kind of cool. You got love handles here where you love to pull them. Go ahead. Let's see how far we can stretch them, camera mom. You pull. Oh, man. Don't let go. <laughs> I think it's gonna... <laughs> Come on, camera mom. Don't flick it at me. That's gonna hurt. It's gonna cut. That's gonna it's hurt. Cut. That's gonna hurt, camera mom. <laughs> Thank goodness I had a slow reaction. In space, everything's slow. All right, next. We have our sauerkraut. No, Merclaw. I was just hungry. Well, I don't eat it by itself. You know, hot dogs, New York. You put sauerkraut on your hot dog or your schnitzel schnots, your Wiener schnitzel. Oktoberfest. Okay, let's just go. And it's our Merculock Hero Pack. He's super scrunchy and it looks like a red spider's inside of him. Ew, that's cool. <laughs> he's got his pink leotard. <laughs> Look on the back. And he's got cosmic shape. Yeah, he's so ever impressive. We're here to pump him up into cosmic shape. He's got a skull, that means he's evil. Let's go ahead and open him up. We'll do this tear thing again, see if it works like a charm this time. Well, it works if you don't care much about the package. Oh man, he looks pretty cool. He's got three eyes instead of four. He had four, but somebody poked him in the eye and they had to like take it off. I wonder if he could grow it back. We'll soon find out in series six of Gujitsu's Galaxy Hacks. He's got his pink leotard. <laughs> we'll take that off. A little bit embarrassing, but hey, it gives him color. No, we like pink. Pink is cool. At least on the other one, we could see there was a skull. I don't see a skull on him at all. And then on the back, you know. And so let's go ahead and give him a squeezy wheezy. Uh, got clear beads there, but, oh man, aliens. So what has he been eating? It looks like a spider. Can you see it there? Uh, trying to get it up. Camera mom, give me confirmation. He does look like a spider. He looks like a cross between some sort of like slimy alien and a spider, a slimy spider. All spiders are slimy. I like the clear gel beads. Okay, so how many do we have in here? One, so we have a total of five in here. Sweet, let's see if we can compring him. See if he goes, oh, he stretches pretty good. Ooh, that's like 15, 18, 19 feet. Finally, last one, Crestacoid, yay! He's eye-popping fun. I'm still trying to send Moose a message. 
I really think that they ought to do, because this reminds me of Scooby-Doo. All right, Raggy. I like Rob Robin. See, his eyes would pop right out when he saw a roast. That's right, because he's so hungry, he can't believe he's got a roast right in front of him. No, a ghost. <laughs> so, that'd be so cool. Do Shaggy and Scooby-Doo like, man, you got to do it now. <laughs> like, zoinks. He's the ultra rare crustacoid pack. And you see he's super mushy, and he's got eye pop attack. Man, that's got to be some hard eyeball, because for it to go out and smack you really hard, it's just a glass eye. And then on her back, it shows you right there. You grip him, squeeze him, and then his eye pops out. Ew. This one's going to be the hot one just to like freak people out, you know? There you go. You can see he's evil. This may be the first evil Gujitsu that's an ultra rare. Let's do this thing. Oh, look. He's got his little Krusty the Crab. <laughs> <laughs> SpongeBob. Oh man, that is cool. He's got his little like pinchers. Hey, is it St. Patty's Day? Pinch, pinch. Let's see if he stands. Oh, that's cool. I think this is our first Jiu-Jitsu can actually stand up <laughs> under extreme duress. Except when you do a side swipe. He's cool, man. This ultra rare I think is gonna be a definite keeper here for this fifth series. And let's turn him around and let's see what's on the back. I don't see anything like a skull that shows, you know, that he's some sort of like evil dude, except what was on the package. I guess that's his little mic there to talk to you. Earthlings, like and subscribe, or I will pop you in the face with my eyeball attack. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can do a straight on shot. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> That's so <super> weird. Cool. <laughs> That's super cool. And you don't have to give it much pressure. You just a little bit of a pressure will pop it out. Let's just take a look at his inner goo. In fact, oh, he's pretty sealed into his crate there. I wonder if you can unscrew it. Boy, I don't want this to be a reveal, not in this video. Squeeze him without his eyeball. Oh, look, little styrofoam balls. Yay. Oh, his eyes popping out at me. He's freaking out. He's looking at me. Oh, that's a creepy <laughs> back in there. It's just styrofoamy in there. I don't see anything. Oh, look, there's his little claw and all the foams in his. <laughs> He's just super cool. His eyeball attack. Subscribe. If you don't like or subscribe, I will attack. It takes him a while to pull back all his uh, tendons there. Okay, guys, it's time for a blah, blah, black light. Hey, look at Solar Blast, Blazagon. His helmet there looks like it's glowing. Cool. Next, let's go to our Astro Thrash. Anything glowing on him? His visor looks super cool, but if we pull this up, his chopper's looking pretty good, glowing. How about our Saturnot? Oh, yeah. He's going to a rave punk party with that mop. <laughs> yeah, he's cool. He's ready to boogie. Man, look at those things. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, look. His inner goo is actually turning red instead of looking blue. Oh, pink. Now, speaking of pink, here's our sauerkraut. Look at our murky lock. He looks good. His green head is all aglow. So is his pink jumpsuit. It kind of reminded me of Monsters, Inc. That looks cool. It looks like... Uh, a little uh, glitter dot from our solar blast, the uh, Blazagon. I hope he's not leaking now. Finally, our crusty coid, our crusty burger. His eyes just a popping. Guys, this has so much functionality to it. You can do it as a noise maker. It also reminds me of those old Polaroid cameras. Hey everybody, like and subscribe, say cheese. Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.